So guys, today we're gonna to be testing out this cool accessory for the Phantom 4 Professional and other DJI drones. Literally, it's just a little remote control that allows you to airdrop things. So it is super nifty. It's pretty cool to play with. You just have to figure out what you're gonna drop. So what I'm gonna to decide to do, I'm gonna drop another drone and see if that drone can take off as it's falling without crashing to the ground. So this is gonna be cool, also kind of stressful but we'll see what happens. So today guys, I'm gonna be reviewing a very interesting product. This is an airdrop accessory for the Phantom 4 Pro and Advanced, and it's pretty cool. This is the box, but this is the product itself. Literally, it just clips right on to the drone, and then it has a little button right here and now all it does, it's so simple. You just attach this to your drone and this is what drops it. So you can see this. You just have to put something in there for it to hold. And then it falls down. And that's the basic workings and how this product works. So <laughs> definitely you have to make whatever you're gonna be dropping, like a special setup for it. So this is the drone I'm gonna be dropping. And what we did, we set up a little we set up a little setup like this, where we have a rubber band around it, and then we have a little loop. So you can see that. So you just put it in there, and then you press the button. And now, it is good. And that's how you do it. But I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. We have to attach this to the drone first. So let's let go of it. Okay, so this is how you orient it. This faces down. Get these little arms around it first. And then you just clip the feet on. Very simple. And just so you can see the mechanism up close, here's the button. You can see that shutting. And there we go, guys. That's what it looks like. <laughs> We're gonna have to take it off like kind of crooked because if we do it like this, the propellers will hit the other propellers. Okay, this is the first flight to get the thumbnail. So I'm gonna turn the control on. I got the drone. So it took a few times to get this thing down. The first time we took the drone up, uh, it was definitely stressful because the Phantom 4 Professional, you can just hear it struggling and actually it doesn't get the, um, the height right. Like it either is going up by itself or coming down by itself. It says gimbal overload or motor overload. It's just very stressful. After the first drop, the thing goes straight down. One, two, three. Luckily, this thing is a champ and it's pretty much crash proof. So that's why I was so confident in just using this drone to test this out because I knew it wouldn't get destroyed. When it falls, it just kind of glides. So perfect drone to test that out. Um, I will put links to this drone if you're curious about checking that drone out for yourself. A great drone for beginners. And then the next time it falls, it successfully starts flying, but we didn't really get much on camera. So we had to try it <laughs> one more time. I don't know how many times we tried it. It was at least four, probably even more than that. Okay, so the last time it drops. It flies in the sky. It drops some more. It is like inches from the ground and then it takes back off. So it was pretty cool to watch. I got all types of different angles with my camera, the drone, another camera. So definitely it was pretty cool to see all this happen. So yes, can you drop a drone from another drone and it survive? 
You certainly can, it just depends on the drone. If the drone is really heavy, chances are it's probably not gonna catch itself in time. If the drone has too many sensors, it may not even try to start off. It may not even like want to. So the key is to get a drone that is stupid. So it, the propellers just work when you tell it to versus drones that have to calibrate, turn on and all that good stuff. Like if I attach the Mavic to this thing, <laughs> it might've just plummeted right to the ground. I never want to test that out. That's a thousand dollar drone that I'm not going to risk <laughs> destroying. And guys, if you want one of these airdrops for yourself, I'll put a link in the description below. Also, I'll put a link to the other drone and a drone to the Phantom 4 Professional Plus. If you wanna check out any of those products, there's probably a bunch of other cool, less destructive things you could drop with this airdrop thing. Water balloons, soda, stuff like that. <laughs> okay guys, have a great day. Bye.